Today I'm going to show you how to open a port number through your router. So here we go. You're going to want to use either Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. Me, I'm just going to use regular Firefox. Okay, see me, I have a Netgear router, so I mean, usually all Netgear routers, you just go, uh, you just go 10.0.0. Hold on. 1. Sorry, dot 1. Hit OK. Let's see, it's going to come up, you know, uh, Authentication not required. Mine already has info already saved in, so I'm gonna hit OK. Let's see, it's gonna have Netgear uh, Smart Wizard. I mean, that's how mine is. You're gonna want to go to uh, Port Forwarding and Port uh, Triggering. Sorry about that. And see, I already have Port 80 open and see it's already at my uh, IP address of my computer's IP address so you're going to want to do a start port and end port and here I'll uh, show you how to uh, do one let's just say dot three see I don't really have one on there so uh, it's not going to really show up but me what you can just do here I'll show you editing mine you're just going to hit edit service doesn't matter, I mean, really the name. But see, you're going to use TCP. See, some reason I accidentally had the other one. But see, now I have TCP. That's what you want. You're going to want to put a, start, a starting port. You're going to want to have port 80. Any port is port 80. That is if you're running Apache and a WAMP. And you're going to want to put your IP address of, like, say, just regular IP address. And you just go to uh, CMD. for it to pull up here and alrighty so you're going to type right here you're going to type IP config you're going to want to look at your IP uh, v4 address it's going to see mine is 10.0.0.2 that's my uh, that's my IP address for the computer. That's well, my uh, Ethernet one. And that's what I have in here. You're gonna want to hit after you put that in there. Whatever I mean, you, me, I'm gonna put um, Apache. And you put TCP. Port 80. Port 80. And then hit apply. And basically after that, I mean, it should work. I mean, like I said, you have to allow it uh, through your uh, computer's firewall. I already have a video on YouTube uh, how to show you uh, how to uh, allow it through a uh, Windows 7 firewall. And I mean, that's basically all you have to do. I mean, if you, I mean, what I have, I have a domain name. I bought me a domain name. So uh, when I do, uh, when, like I said, when I'm using my Apache web server, it's going to automatically, uh, like I said, uh, my domain name is going to forward to, like I said, my Apache because I already have, like I said, my own web page and everything. So, I mean, you're going to want that to forward. I mean, me, I have uh, one in one uh, domain. They're really good. I mean, if you get dot .info, it's a lot more cheaper. It's like only like a dollar, I think. But if you want dot .com, it's like five dollars. So, I mean, it's I mean they're definitely a really good domain service, but I mean that's basically how you set it up though through a Netgear router. I mean if you're gonna set it up through a Linksys router, it's gonna be a little bit more different. But like I said, it's still gonna say the port forwarding, port triggering, and I mean it's basically the same thing. I mean basically it's just a lot. Just I mean it's easy to me. I mean, but that's all you have to do. I mean, so uh, thanks for watching all, and if you uh, have any questions and answers, just uh, leave me a comment below. Thanks.